Hello and welcome to my second C++ tutorial. So what we do now, since we downloaded the dev C++ compiler, we want to work in it. So you go to File, New, Source File. And I like to save it before I start, so just save it as file, uh, new.cpp and you save. And now that you're ready to work in C++, uh, let's start. So this is something that you always need to have in the beginning of your program. Include the IO stream. What that does is it tells the compiler that, all right, I'm ready to work in C++. Again, this is just uh, something that you always need to have there in order to work in C++. After that, you need to include the namespace std. This is something else that you're going to have to memorize, these two right there. You need them before you go any further in your program. Now that we're going further, um, you have to put an int main and two uh, parentheses. What this does is, uh, and you have to put a bracket right there. What this does is, it tells the compiler that um, you're ready to make your program. Again, uh, these are the openings for you to make your program. In order to start making your programs, you need to include these. And what this opening bracket does is, it's going to, um, between these two brackets right here that I put, my program is going to be stored in between these two so I can put anything I want between these two so let's say that we just want to display a text on the screen and in order to do that you have to use the cout uh, method what cout does is it uh, allows the user to uh, input something in the screen so let's say I want to put cout hello world and and the line Again, this is this is a new uh, coding that uh, we need to learn. And L means end the line, and you want to end it with a semicolon. What this does is it just told the compiler that I want a message saying "Hello world" to display in the screen. So now that we're done building our programs, what we need to put at the end is a system pause. What the system pause does is it just freezes the screen while your program is running. So system pause and return zero are things you have to include. So let's go ahead and in order to compile it, you go to execute, compile and run. And as you can see the text that, that shows up is hello world and that's what we typed right here. So tune in for more of my C++ tutorials uh, that could be helpful to you and uh, uh, go ahead and do comment on this video. Thank you.